Good morning, miners. Welcome back to another episode of Ed Hughes. I want to apologize for giving you that nickname last week. It's okay. I mean, I made everyone laugh at you. I should be apologizing. Yeah, it's okay. I only cried for two hours. <laughs> You'll get over it, Chloe. Here's the LD update. Hey Miners, it's time for the LD Monte update. You only have three days left to reserve your yearbook before the price goes up on Fasten Night. Go to room 901 and reserve yours today. Seniors, if you need a final transcript sent to, the, to a college university or NCAA after this semester is over, you need to fill out a request in Student Services Office. Mrs. Wooten will be sending them out by June 15th. Congratulations to the LG Monte Slick Rock Film Festival winners, Marcus Moreno and Caleb Martinez for their documentary, and Josh Adams and Jacob Leon Guerrero for their Step Up and Peter Bell commercials. Great job, guys. Attention Bowling Club. If you are attending the bowling event on Sunday, May 22nd, you will need to come by room 314 for control. The class of 2013 will be having its last meeting of the year today in room 353. Well, Miners, that's it for me. I'll see you guys on Friday. Yearbook is revealing another page. This is our In Your Spare Time page. It shows what Miners do outside of school. This page also shows what students did on the night of winter formal instead of going to the dance. Do you want to see more? Don't forget to purchase your yearbook for $80 by this Friday, May 20th. Whatever books are left after this Friday will be sold on Facet Night. I'm guessing you're tired? Yeah, all these school deadlines are keep me from sleeping. That's yes. not good. Did you know that teenagers are actually supposed to get like nine hours of sleep? Really? Yeah, it's a proven fact. Check out this story. Hey Miners, NPR posted an article about sleep and your well-being. We went around campus to ask people how much sleep they got. I sleep about three hours a night, but I make up for every day in class. I sleep about five hours maximum. Yeah. I get anywhere from six to seven hours of sleep. I sleep like one or two, maybe four hours, five hours of sleep. Very tired in class. It sucks. Most people don't get enough sleep and often find themselves tired the next day. They are so tired that they even sleep in class. I sleep quite a bit. Um, on the weekends, I can sleep up to like 12 hours. So I get six hours of sleep and I'm really tired and <laughs> it's sleepy. <laughs> I get like eight hours of sleep and then sometimes I get really tired in class. The average person should get at least seven to eight hours of sleep at night. We found that most students at LD are getting less than average amount of sleep. Well, at night I make sure that when I go to bed, I go to bed at a decent hour so I can get about eight to nine hours of sleep so in the morning I feel refreshed and I'm ready to go at school. I get six to seven hours of sleep. I should get more but I'm up playing Call of Duty. I get really tired in class. I get about six hours of sleep, and I'm kind of tired in the mornings, but it's not that bad. It's about eight hours. Lack of sleep is known to cause depression, hallucinations, and irritability, along with many other sleep deprivation effects. I go to sleep at 12 a.m., I wake up at 6, I'm really tired, I sleep most of the time in class. While minors, try and get all the sleep you can. I didn't realize sleep was so important. I knew you'd be surprised. Yeah, wow, what an eye opener. All right, well, I'm ready for some grub. Are you, you wanna to go to get lunch after this? Well, actually, I'm going home for lunch. I'm trying to save some money. Maybe I should try that sometime. Well, here's a story if you wanna learn how. Not everybody likes to spend a ton of money, but one of the best ways is to save it during lunch. I spend zero amount of dollars because I bring my own lunch because I'm on a special diet. <laughs> I go off campus and I spend five bucks. The average student spends five dollars for lunch a day. If you go home for lunch, you could save it or you could spend half that amount by getting your lunch through the school. Every day I usually go off campus and I usually spend about five or six dollars. During lunch I go home and save money by eating with my family. Hope you guys make wiser decisions with your money. I'm Guillermo and I'm the money man. Did you go to the sports award ceremony on Monday? Yeah, I went. Did you know that we hold the record for the most WIL titles this year? Really? Yeah, I heard it was like 10 or something. Wow. Yeah, and here's Chris to tell you some more about the spring sports. 
Hey everybody and welcome to sports. Congrats to boys swim, baseball, softball, girls track, and boys tennis for taking home the WYL championships this season. Now there's nothing going on today, but tomorrow you can catch the minor softball team in the playoffs at home beginning at 4. Well that's all I have for now, so I'll catch up with you guys with some more sports on Friday. Thanks Chris. Why does our school have such a good sports program? I don't know, it's just how LD does it, I guess. However LD does it, we're doing it right. I would have to agree with you. We'll see you on Friday, Miners. We're taking home the, the W on. Oh, no. Good morning, Miners. Why did you say it like that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. The WIL record for time. Okay, let's have a little space sports. That was bad. That was really bad. 